It is a make or break day for the massive multinational search for a missing tourist submarine. Yeah, the crew inside this vessel is expected to run out of oxygen by early tomorrow. Fox 10's Mark Martinez joins us now with the latest developments in the search. Mark. Yeah, Christina and John, really a race against the clock right now. Rescuers today rushed more ships and vessels to the area where that submersible disappeared after the Coast Guard detected more underwater sounds. Crews are scouring a large area in waters two and a half miles deep, and it's an increasingly urgent mission. The U.S. Coast Guard and Canadian forces deploying more assets to join the search for a missing submersible in the Atlantic Ocean. Officials say three new vessels arrived on scene today, including the John Cabot, which has sonar technology capable of detecting objects on the sea floor. Crews now combing an area two times the size of Connecticut to locate the Titan sub and its five passengers. The unified command team is working tirelessly to bring all available assets and expertise to bear as quickly as possible in response to this complex operation. Meanwhile, the Coast Guard says Canadian surveillance aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area for a second day today. Naval experts are now analyzing the data and a remotely operated vehicle has been moved to the spot. But officials say so far the origin of those sounds is inconclusive. When we're able to get additional ROVs, which will be there in the morning, the intent will be to continue to search um, in those areas where the noises were detected, and if they're continuing to be detected, and then put additional ROVs down in the last known position where the search was originally taking place. Experts fear the sub could be as deep as 12,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Colin Taylor went on the same expedition last summer and described the pressure passengers are facing. There's no light. It's very, very difficult to communicate with any type of technology through that amount of water. And again, based on previous Coast Guard estimates, the people on board would run out of oxygen sometime tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, a former Navy master diver says that it's likely the five on board, despite the stress that they are probably under, are trying to relax or sleep if possible to reduce the use of oxygen. They should be really relaxing. It's hard to do, but uh, even sleeping right now to, to preserve the, that precious uh, oxygen and, uh, and reduce the uh, carbon dioxide. I mean, that's, that's what I see as their biggest danger right, right now, especially if they don't have any battery power or anything like that, is the uh, increase of uh, carbon dioxide in, uh, in that space where uh, that will kill you uh, a lot sooner than uh, running out of oxygen. So a very dire situation, and right now the Coast Guard is confirming, though, this is still a rescue operation, meaning they do think a rescue is still possible. Reporting in studio, Mark Martinez, Fox 10 News. Mark, thank you.